<laughs> Hello, eating healthier obviously doesn't mean cutting out things, it's just eating healthier. We're trying new things I guess. Anyway, today I bought some cookie dough bites. I got them on my way to the art gallery that I went to today, which was the Tate Gallery. Um, because it was free today uh, I, to see this one. But um, before I went up and saw this, which is on the top floor of the Tate Gallery in Liverpool, I looked at the exhibition they had on the bottom floor, which was Martin Creed, I think. Um, which is a bit weird, because the things he had up were... Um, of four videos of people being sick, like just in a studio room, just people walking in being sick. Um, paper with one colour of felt it drawn on it, covering the paper each time, and neon words saying don't worry. So it's just Mm, it's a bit unusual. The, the idea of a video of people being sick as art um, basically so that the viewer feels repulsed I suppose you know the viewer response of having repulsion it's, it still doesn't, it seems a bit wrong because it made me think of well bulimic people I guess and how this is going to affect them um, because obviously if you believe it, you're going to need support and things like that, but if the media and art and stuff is showing such things and showing it as just repulsion, it seems like it could negatively impact, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's a good aspect to it. It's just people being sick as a video. I don't know what's to be gained. Uh, but anyway, that's what that wasn't the reason I went to the gallery. The gallery was that I could see Charlene on Hale, I think it is, for free. Um, her work was mainly abstract, but she's been doing this since before I was born, so it's fairly good at it by now. Uh, that piece on the leaflet, this one right here, is called Woman. And you can sort of see, in my opinion, that it is sort of like a, a silhouette of a woman. I don't know if that was the general intention or not, but because most of her pieces were just, you know, com completely abstract. But it feels a bit like you could make out something in, in the mall. It's a bit like um, when people lie on the ground and watch clouds go by and... Um, point out what shapes they see in the clouds. <laughs> That's how it feels, I guess. You see her abstract work and you just sort of... You, feel, you see, feel like you see something in some of them that, you know, she might have been intentional, might not have, but, you know... I think what on one of the little read-it things, it said something about um, it being passed on to the viewer's interpretation, which is probably right. I mean, one of them, I thought, looked a bit like a part but I don't know if that's what inspired her or what. I mean, the little writing things didn't really say very much. I think she was just leaving it up to the viewer entirely as to what they were about. Um, yeah. They were all quite big and they were quite okay.